Hey, Bugtube. Yeah, I didn't think that was going to work. I'm sorry, babe. I'm doing a Booktube video. And when I started talking to someone, the dog started barking. It's early in the morning, and so he's still sleeping. She's lying peaceful. See, I would have done this outside, but I don't know if you guys can hear it. But, um... There's like really, really strong winds and it's blowing everything. Um, but anyway, so today I was going to talk to you about the Swords of Lankmar, um, which I believe is the fifth in the collected Fawford and Gray Mauser books by Fritz Leiber. Um, whew, where to start? Well, one thing I think that makes this book different than the other ones I've read so far is that um, the other ones I've read were like short stories that were, they were originally released as short stories and then interconnected, um, which completely worked. Um, and they always felt like a, a book, if that makes sense. This one, I think, was actually... I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, let me know down in the comics. This one feels like it was actually written as a novel. Because um, it kind of has the same through line. More so than the other books have had before it. <clears throat> um, I don't know how much to give away, but I have to tell you enough to make me feel like I'm not going crazy here. So I have to keep drinking my coffee or else it's going to get cold, folks. I know Steve hates when people drink in their videos. But if you knew how hard it was to get hot water out here, you would understand. So... This is probably like the fifth cup of hot coffee I've had since we've lived here. So, um, it's okay. But I just realized it was sitting there and it was going to get cold. Okay, so anyway, it starts off amazingly. Like, um, Fawford and Grey Mauser are heading back to Lankmar <clears throat> after their exploits so far. And they're like, yeah, I don't know if we should just go up to the front gate, you know, or the back gate. Um, I think they're going to recognize us and all this other stuff. And they're like, oh, it'll be fine. Don't worry about it. And they get there and like, everyone's there ready to kill them. And, um, there's like sorcerers and, um, armed men and some battle stuff ensues. And then, like, the head of Lankmar comes out, and he's like, oh, yeah, by the way, um, if you guys want to, like, not die, um, take these grain shipments, um, like, guard them while we're delivering grain everywhere, because our boats keep getting attacked or sunk or something. And they're like, oh, yeah, okay, we could do that. So, they're, like, off on a boat, and, um, on the boat with all of this stuff are these like giant rats in cages and when i say giant i mean they're still only like four or five feet tall but um they're big ass rats right <clears throat> well one of the rats is missing but that doesn't matter because some dude on a freaking sea serpent shows up and has a conversation with Fawfred. And then he leaves. And, like, that's weird. And then, um, there's all this, like, where the heck's the rat? There was this many rats. No, there was this many rats. Argument, argument. They deliver the stuff. Everything's fine. Whatever. Then Fawford and Gray Mauser go their separate ways. Um, to get... That's a whole other story. But the part that's, like been making me go loopy is that how do I even say this so basically the Grey Mauser 
becomes the size of a rat. And um, there's this whole like kingdom of rats with um, royalty and all this other stuff. And um, the chick who was um, on the boat, like she's like some hot rat royalty chick and she's like coming on to the gray mauser and she has one of her buddies there watching and the gray mauser's like this is weird i don't know if i'm into this she's gonna take off that robe she's gonna have a tail i don't know she might have like 37 nipples or something like whatever rats do and she's gonna be all furry and then he's just like Okay, I'm good. And he takes off his clothes and he's getting ready to go to Pound Town with Rat Chick. And then all these other dudes come in, her dad, and like there's some big, he was going to kill you. No, he was going to I poisoned you. Oh, God. And so like all these guys attack naked Mauser with his little brown Mauser out. And, um,. It's just wild madness. And then they realize when they are back in Lankmar that while they were gone, the rats overthrew Lankmar. And what the heck? And then Fofred, um goes up. The, okay, okay, I'll, I'll leave it at that. But it was like... What the hell is going on? And it wasn't bad by any means. I was just... I don't know if it was because it was like a kingdom of rats or something. But the whole time I kept like coming out of the story. Like going... What the F is going on here? And yeah, the Fawford and Grey Mauser Tales... There's always some, like, weirdness in them because they're fantasy. But, um, this one I was just, like, it was good. And, um, Fritz Leiber is a very, I don't want to say readable writer because that sounds ridiculous, but it's... As weird as it is, it's very easygoing, if that makes sense. Um, and it's not that he dumbs anything down or anything like that. It's just, honestly, I think what it is is just Fawfred is a great character. He's like a barbarian like Conan, but he wants... Like, I feel like, especially in the earlier stuff, he wants to be more cultured. He wants to be um, more intelligent. And he is more intelligent, especially more than people give him credit for. Um, and then the Grey Mauser is such a sneaky, conniving little dude. But, like, he always has great quips and especially when it's just him and Fawford talking um he's great so it's just it's it's like an awesome buddy cop um story and like I understand like when they go off their own ways because there's been other books where they get separated and even in the last book they were separated for a little bit during that um Star, what was it called? Star Dock. They were separated during that for a bit. Um, but I just, I really like it when they're together. I really do. Um, but anyway, so there's two more books, I think. I think it's um, Swords against ice magic i want to say and then the knight and knave of swords i think is what's left so um i'm looking forward to those and um i have other 
book videos to do, so there will be some Edgar Rice Burroughs coming your way here um, pretty soon. So let me know down below what you thought of the book, if you read it, um, if you liked it, what's your favorite Fawford and Gray Mauser book. Um, if there's a Fritz Leiber book you like better than the Fawford and Gray Mauser series, let me know that down below because I would love to look into that as well. Um, and if you think any of the stuff, especially earlier when I was like, I'm not sure about this, um, let me know if I was off base there. So anyway, um, take care everybody. Bye-bye.